bricks ripped from a building, trees knocked down, and rivers rising. Thousands of people dealing with the aftermath of yesterday's storm, spanning from New Jersey to the city of Westchester. We have team coverage here for you tonight at 6, following the damage and the swollen waterways. Let's begin with Alice Gaynor. She is live in Hudson County. Alice. Christine, what a mess here in North Bergen, which is Hudson County. You can see all of the bricks here that fell behind me. This is Grand Avenue and 10th Street here. Representatives in North Bergen say it does appear to be weather related due to the high winds. The building was inspected and was found to be safe. Thankfully, no one was injured. The power is out, though, and cars were damaged. Some residents report hearing a loud noise around 1030 last night. Like a big thunder, but at the same time, like when you hear a big crash. I got no no side mirror. Uh, the bricks got embedded right here in my door. It was pouring rain. It was like, it was like raining sideways. Like it was windy. You know, I had my raincoat on, and I was like, I still got soaked. Mm. So you know, it was bad. A couple of families here at this apartment complex were put up in hotels. The rest remain here, hoping the power goes on soon. Live in North Bergen, that's Hudson County. Alice Gaynor, CBS 2 News. All right, Alice, thank you. Meantime, crews in Mount Vernon and across Westchester County are cleaning up trees that fell during the storm. One came down in Armonk, sadly, with tragic results. CBS 2's Tony Aiello reports. This was the scene on Route 128 Wednesday evening after a tree fell on a vehicle, killing 50-year-old Kathy Tuziani, married with children. The massive tree now in pieces on the side of the road, the accident location just a half mile from Tuziani's home. We had a major storm come through, uh, really high winds. It was about 65 mile per hour gust. Damani Bush is DPW commissioner in Mount Vernon where cleanup was the focus of the day. Multiple roads closed after massive trees toppled power lines, cutting electricity to a thousand customers. The light went out about 11.05 last night. We ain't got no light. There's no heat, no nothing. Wires also came down in New Rochelle, cutting power to the North End Business District. This tree closed a road in Pelham, while this was the scene in Greenberg. Multiple poles toppled, a car crushed. Businesses trying to run on generator power. There's a lot of people working, at least trying to get the poles up and the electric back on. The power is back on in the north end of New Rochelle Wednesday night. All of these businesses were without. Con Ed bringing in 250 contractors and mutual aid workers to help with power restoration. In New Rochelle, Tony Aiello, CBS 2 News. And the woman killed in Armonk was married to a senior executive with the New York Yankees. Tonight, the team telling us that Kathy Tusiani was beloved for her kindness, her intelligence, humor, and love for her family. Communities on the shore in Ocean County, New Jersey, dealt with flooded streets today. This is video of the boulevard in the Brant Beach section of Long Beach Island, showing a lot of water but little road there. The area currently under a coastal flood advisory until 2 a.m. on Friday. Let's bring in Lonnie Quinn. And Lonnie, we're closely watching these rising waters. You betcha. I mean, you, look, let's be real. That's one of the strongest nor'easters we've had around here in a long time. Yeah, the coastal situation, we showed you that, but the rivers are also problematic. The thing about the rivers, they haven't reached their worst yet. They're continuing to rise. At least some of those rivers, specific, specifically, I'm looking on and keeping my eye on the Passaic River. Now, the Millstone is currently the highest of the rivers. It's at moderate flood stage right now. It is in the process of receding, but the Passaic River... It's getting higher. Take a look at what we're dealing with right now at Pine Brook. So you're currently at 9.6 feet. That's minor flood stage. By tomorrow, you're going to break into moderate flood stage. You know, not dramatically, but you're into moderate flood stage really for Friday into Saturday, dropping down sometime late Saturday back to minor flood stage going into Sunday. It, it, the rivers just take some time to respond to those tributaries that feed into them. Here's your picture outside right now about the brightest picture I've seen you know, for the bulk of this day, it is 48 degrees. It is blustery. So the winds are still blowing out there, but they're not blowing hazardously. But you have some 20, 25 mile per hour gusts. If you take a look at the weather, I mean, the rain and some thunderstorms are even possible down around Atlantic City. They're isolated. 
but they are out there. And we even have some snow showers pushing through some areas up around, eh, say, upper Ulster County. You get into Sussex County, they picked up 2.4 inches of snow with the event last night. A little bit of snow on the ground, and the winds have been a huge culprit. Those trees that come down, they don't come down without the big wind on top of the big rain. Well, Eaton's Neck and Greenwich, Connecticut had 64 mile per hour gusts. Central Park with a 59 mile per hour gust. Those winds have backed down, maybe some 20, 25 mile per hour gusts right now. But that's in the rearview mirror, which is a good thing. KJ, it's all yours. All right, Lonnie, thank you. Stay with us because we'll be tracking the cleanup and also the next rain chances. We'll bring you an updated first alert forecast on air and online at CBSNewYork.com.